showed you how to generate AR transaction reports. Accounts Receivable produces a complete range of reports of the transactions you enter and post. These reports include batch listings, posting journals, error reports, batch status reports, invoices, deposit slips, and the GL transactions report. All of these reports are important parts of your audit trail of accounts receivable transactions. You should regularly print these reports, check them carefully, and file them in a secure place. If you use accounts receivable to print invoices, credit notes, debit notes, and deposit slips, you should also establish procedures for ensuring that you print and check each one and keep copies in your files. Accounts Receivable also provides three important analytical reports that you can use to interpret, analyze, and summarize your data, including the aged trial balance, customer transactions, and item sales history reports. Let's open some of the AR transaction reports. The Customer Transactions report lists transactions that were posted in a given period for all customers or for the customers selected. We'll open this report for one customer. In our example, we'll select the report type Customer Transactions by Document Date. We only want to see transactions for one customer, which we select here. Let's display all transaction types. We also want to see all applied details. The Item Sales History Report lists the sales activity for the items in your account's receivable system. Most of the information on this report is also available on the Statistics tab of the Items screen. We'll open the report for a specific item. We confirm the date and click Print. The Aged Trial Balance report shows outstanding transactions or balances in the aging periods by document date or due date. You can use this report to analyze your receivables. You can print the report in detailed form, listing all outstanding documents for each customer, or summary form, printing one line for each customer number, including the current balance and the balance in each aging period. When opening the report, we can select the report type. We'll select Aged Trial Balance by Due Date. Then, choose the date the documents are going to be aged as, and the cutoff date. Any documents that are newer than the cutoff date will not be included in the report. Specify how the transactions should be printed, either with detail by document date or number, or a summary. We'll select Detail by document date. We can modify the values for the aging periods and filter and sort the report as needed. To view the transactions that have been applied to the invoices, like credit notes, debit notes, adjustments, select Applied Details. To include fully paid transactions, select the corresponding option. Let's open the report. For each customer, we can see the outstanding transactions and the documents applied against them. If we go to the last page of the report, we can see the totals customers owe us for each aging period. The batch listing and the posting journals reports are printed as part of the workflow when posting transactions. Congratulations! You now know how to generate AR transaction reports.